Hello, and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley, and today we're going to discuss a, a case about where a patient came in who had had cataract surgery in the past and uh, had s some astigmatism, and they weren't happy with the quality of their vision at distance without glasses. So they wanted to see what we could do about correcting their astigmatism and give them sharper, better vision without glasses uh, for driving. So, what is astigmatism? So astigmatism in simple terms is that this cornea, the clear part of your eye, this cornea is slightly shaped more like a football than a basketball. That is, it's more steeper in one direction than it is the other direction. So then when light focuses into the retina in the back, back here, then now the light is not focused to a sharp clear point, but is actually focused to a line which then that's the reason when people who have astigmatism and they look and street lights at night or car headlights have the streak that's because of the astigmatism not focusing everything to a clear point. So what do we do about the astigmatism? Well we have several different options of what you can do about treating your astigmatism uh, after cataract surgery uh, or even sometimes during cataract surgery. Uh, one choice is is that we can make an incision along the edge of the cornea right where near where the white part starts, the sclera, and uh, we can make an incision on the steep side of the football to let that relax slightly and then take a shape more similar to the other side, the other direction of the uh, cornea. And so that will then get rid of the astigmatism, so that's one option. Another option that we have is called conductive keratoplasty, or CK, and that is a collagen probe is placed on the long side of the football, and this, this probe shrinks the collagen in that part of the cornea and brings that cornea down, so now it matches the steep side on the other side. Uh, or uh, the last choice would be if there was a lot of astigmatism, then someone could have a laser procedure such as LASIK or LASIK uh, or the older term even PRK to correct their uh, astigmatism and if they had any nearsightedness or farsightedness that could be corrected at the same time. Pretty much when I do these procedures um, I choose between CK and um, an LRI or LK, limbo relaxing incision depending on what the overall uh, strength or prescription for the eye is. That is, if someone is slightly nearsighted, then I do a limbal relaxing incision with the incision, so that way it stretches that part and makes a person slightly, slightly uh, less nearsighted. Uh, and so if someone's a little bit on the slightly farsighted side after their cataract surgery and have astigmatism, then I use CK because CK is going to st steepen the cornea and make someone less farsighted. So depending on the situation, we, we determine that ahead of time and then we choose what's the most appropriate way of correcting someone's astigmatism. Uh, so this works very well and so, so if someone out there is, has astigmatism and, um, and, and that's all they have, nothing else, then there are some reasonably easy options on how to correct your astigmatism. So if you have any questions about astigmatism or any other problem, you can always contact us through the website. We'd be happy to try to answer your questions. If not, may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.